Today, we are gonna be building a house inside of Minecraft. Wait, did I just say house? Layer, I meant layer. We are gonna be building a vampire layer inside of Minecraft. What is up guys, it's Big Spash, and welcome back to Vampire Mode Part 3. <laughs> If you haven't been following the vampire mode, go watch these two videos first. They'll get you all caught up. Then come back here and watch this amazing video. But basically, we're a vampire, so we can't eat, we can't sleep, and we can never see the sunlight. That's about it. In the last episode, we got that farm going. We found some diamonds, and uh, well, a creeper blew us up and uh, well, destroyed everything. But today, we are solely going to be working on the vampire lair. It's one of the coolest builds I've ever made inside of Survival Minecraft. You are not going to want to miss out. Trust me, wait till the end to see this amazing amazingness now let's get into it okay just like i said in uh part two of the vampire mode uh we are not messing around at all we are going to be making the vampire lair today the house the amazing cave that we will be living in because well we uh, can't see the light so we are not going to be messing around today at all so welcome back to part three of the vampire mode which is the episode dedicated we are dedicating all of our effort um yeah i just punched those and they, they didn't even give me beat that's fine Bruh. um but we're gonna be dedicating all of our energy to building the vampire lair yep we're, we're building a house we are finally gonna have a place uh that we don't get blown up by creepers because that really that made me really 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 sad last episode but yeah a lot has changed uh since uh episode two um i have been preparing hours for this episode as you can tell by my level i'm level 23 i got my levels back so yeah thank you nice. um but yeah i've been preparing a ton for this episode episode um i've been farming a ton which so now now we should have a ton of food so we don't really have to worry about that anymore um and then i got a ton of ores and let me just okay let me show you the area that's probably the most important part is the area that we're gonna be building the layer in what's up big splash in the future here if you enjoyed today's video go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's free it's simple and uh well if you don't 50 chickens will lose their lives do you really want 50 chickens to lose their lives yeah i didn't think so so hit the button now let's get back to the video okay so if we're gonna be coming out throughout the day day and then uh the night time which during the day we just have to be covered um i decided that this little walkway going down into a layer would be so cool so it's actually going to be overhanging um the entrance of our layer which is absolutely perfect that way we can you know come out we can see the daylight but yet still be covered which i think is going to be perfect now this definitely needs a lot of maintenance but hey we're going to do it we're going to carve this out a little bit more and make this Make, make this more big spash style this is this is boring right now but this is where i spent all of my time are you are you ready to see this look at it look at it it's amazing so i have four stacks of smooth stone i have two stacks of stone bricks i went on a log farming rampage and i got all of these oak logs uh cobblestone galore and then i i decided that in the vampire lair i don't want torches i i, I don't like them i don't want torches so i'm doing a lantern theme inside of it so i got I made a ton of lanterns. I made a ton of chains. Uh, I don't know how many chains I'm gonna need, so I just made a, you know, 20 or so. And then glass if we'll need it. I have an idea, maybe, of what I wanna do. But uh, yeah, so there you go. This is where I spent most of my time. But with that, there you go. So this actually doesn't go down too far. This just stops down there, but we're not gonna do anything down here. We're not gonna do anything really right there. We're gonna, I have an idea, and I'm gonna go show you, but to come down this winding, you know, cave right here, down in through here so go down a little bit and then we're gonna actually carve out our own full uh vampire layer inside of here oh i'm so excited now let me take you upstairs and just show you kind of like the layout of uh well what i'm thinking of building okay bear with me right here bear with me this looks really bad right here but this is kind of like a a block outline of what i kind of want to do so here let me explain so you're gonna be coming down the cave like this boom you're going down the cave la da dee la da do boom you're gonna go down that little part that i was talking about that little part and then this is the entrance of the cave right here so you're gonna go inside of it and then from here i really want this to drop out like 30 or 40 blocks you know just a giant pit 
and out of that a column and on that column is where you know our main chests our bed even though we aren't going to be sleeping because we're vampires our bed um and everything is going to be in this middle this this it's, it's gonna be a pillar coming out of nothing from there that is where i want you know different uh walkways going to different parts of the cave so th there'll be like a wall this will be a big opening and there'll be a wall right here going to a different part of the cave maybe this is the enchanting and farming or over here is you know leads to a different part of the cave i don't know i want like different parts branching out of this central vampire layer and i just oh okay i know i probably confused you but it, trust me you'll you will see what i'm talking about but i want this thing to look amazing and beautiful and it's going to oh hello rain well um i guess that's a perfect time let's just stop talking and let's start building i've definitely confused you guys i'm so sorry <laughs> Okay, I just filled up on some blood. I just killed a baby zombie and uh, let's start to work on this thing. So I'm gonna first start carving out this whole thing. This thing looks hideous. Let's get to work. Brother man, what the heck are you doing? I'm trying to peacefully build here and you're just, okay, you know what? Just, just, just you take it away. Hmm. Okay, well die. Oh my gosh. Why uh, did all the zombies just spawn? I think they all just okay Look look at that. I think that was four zombies right there. Boom. Let's go. Okay. Come on. Give me that free HP Another one. Oh my gosh, another one. Look at how many zombies are there. They're like six. What the heck is going on? Okay, so I have been building for about 30 to 40 minutes now and let me just show you kind of the concept so Every single thing that is cobble is going to be turned to stone, but I just wanted to start building with cobblestone so that way I don't make as many mistakes later on and have to smelt more stone and yada yada yada. But as you can see, as you head down into the cave, what you're going to see now is, uh, well, uh, a bigger overhang with pillars that are actually going to be holding up this side of the cave. And, you know, it's a little bit wider than it has been, but I'm still, you know, messing around with that. So, yeah, you're going to come down and then oh yeah be completely covered yet still nice. see the outside world which i absolutely love and then i basically didn't do too much down here i just kind of like set it like it like a little like okay this is where i kind of want uh the beginning of the the vampire layer to start right here but um yeah this is uh this is what i've been working on this took way longer than i thought um so yeah it's been 30 minutes yes i know it's hard to believe but i think this is gonna work super 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 well i absolutely love how it just like cascades and falls all the way down um and then we're gonna have an epic amazing vampire layer that we can call home and i'm thinking at the very bottom of the pit so yeah like i said there's a pillar coming up with complete darkness down below but i'm thinking at the very bottom i could put like lava or something like that i don't know i thought it'd be cool i have no idea but let's go ahead and get that stone in here i mean this cobble is so ugly i want to actually start you know making it look a little bit prettier so uh yeah here we go okay there we go wow okay the stone makes it look 10 times better Better. but uh, I went ahead and yeah fixed everything that was cobble uh, well mostly don't don't look at the pillars yet um, but mostly uh, with uh, the smooth stone so as you can tell you come down here and then make your way all the way down um, to the actual vampire layer now I left that part cobble just because I'm still messing with it I'm still I don't have a good grasp on exactly what I want the entrance to look like but I think this works out pretty well for now I widened this well widened it a lot and uh well i've been messing around with it it's a way this is pushing my limits this is way harder than i was expecting to make my own cave but yeah as you can tell these are still uh cobble because i'm thinking of actually making um this uh like maybe like a little bit of like a wall like a stone wall kind of like this um and then from there the stone will kind of you know like i don't know go like that it'll like look, see I, I think that already looks cool like the stone like it's actually like a pillar it's like broken like there's different pieces broken out going into the world i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about see when building it's basically just all experimenting it's like up oh, does that work nope okay well does this work and eh, no that looks terrible move on to the next thing and uh well eventually you'll get to something that you actually like and then uh, well, you'll like it enough that you won't change it. That's basically how it works. Okay, I just put on some of the finishing touches, and I think this is gonna work really well. I'm gonna replace all of this with stone and make it look 
well, better than it is right now because I hate the cobble in this. I absolutely hate it, but uh, there we go. I think this looks perfect. Um, and there you go. That's kind of the design process. I, I'm like, oh, that looks ugly. Oh, that looks good. Okay, yeah, I'm talking too much. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay, so during our quick little farming run, you can uh, always comment down below and give your suggestions on what you think the vampire layer should be like. You know, hey, I'd love to know. Well, as I step outside into the dangerous elements with only four hearts, this is what it's looking like. I think this Bruh. looks absolutely okay. I'm getting hit. What am I, I just, I literally just said I was stepping out into the day. Get away from here, zombie. As I was saying, this is what it's been looking like, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. It works to like what I was actually thinking is like you're stepping down into a cave, but you're you're also outside so I think this is good for now we've worked a ton on this entrance and we got to start the actual vampire layer so I'm gonna start digging this out I am gonna um, I think I'm gonna retire the diamond pickaxe because well, um, it's almost broken and I really don't want to break this right now so I'm gonna make a ton of iron pickaxes and we are just gonna start digging a ginormous cavern there's a giant cavern area that will look amazing i promise so <laughs> i think that's what i'm gonna do now and uh yeah i think i'm good on no i'm not good on food i'm not good on food at all i'm gonna go get some food make iron picks axes and then uh, yep big cavern here we go i totally forgot to mention that i am gonna put lanterns all throughout this entire thing and also make this you know more decorative i, I forgot to say that okay now back to the cavern building <laughs> Look how much stone I have dug out with the diorite and everything else. But uh, a good solid 30 minutes later, this is what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's huge. And I know it's a giant square right now, but just, just try to ignore that part. Um, so yeah, you're going to come down into the vampire layer and then... All of this area on either side is gonna drop down literally like 30 or 40 blocks. Like just gonna be absolutely so deep. But yeah, you can kind of tell that design that I showed earlier. You're literally gonna come to the middle. This is where you're gonna have your like your chests and your main stuff, your bed in the middle or something like that. I don't know yet. But then you're gonna lead off into different parts of the vampire lair itself. And that's where, you know, you can have your giant farm. You can have, yeah, we can bring that farm down here actually inside. Uh, you can have your bedroom. You can have your potion brewing room. And, oh, I just love this. It's, but it's, it's taken a while. I will say it is taken a while, but, uh, um, I also wanted to point out the fact that I have an idea for, uh, the entrance, the cave, the entrance cave. Yeah, but instead of having to uh, jump up every single time that we want to actually uh, access the cave, um, I was thinking that we could actually, you know, incorporate maybe um, some uh, dark oak slabs, you know? That way we can walk up easily, but yet it still fits the theme of the forest. It still will fit the theme of the build. And especially once we start to get lanterns in here. Oh, it's going to be looking so good. So I think I'm going to go through here and completely, yeah, like this. Like, I, th I think I think this will look amazing. I'm going to, you know, fill it out with, um, hello? Baby, baby zombie, me. baby zombie, baby zombie, Help please go away. Ba me. Ba ow, ow, oh my gosh, do not kill me. Wow, you're really hard to hit. But as I was saying, I think I'm going to go through here. I am going to, you know, try to make this look as good as possible. And then, um, yeah, I am going to completely and utterly just go at this vampire lair because I said this was a building episode. It's a building episode. And so um, I'm gonna dig this out probably 20 to 30 blocks down. Um, and then I'm gonna, you know, make this not so square because it, it's very square right now, I know that. Um, and then uh, start to put lanterns and stuff like that. So the next time you see this, it's gonna advance a ton. And it's, oh, I'll probably have a lot to say about it, but uh, Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Let's jump ahead like two or three hours. I have no idea. Here we go. More time has been put into this build than I definitely think there should have been. Um, when I said two or three hours, no. This was like four to five hours of building, but I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's go check it out. So obviously not much has changed up here. We are eventually going to move this farm down below into the vampire lair, but that's going to have to be in a future episode because, well, I got some plans later on for you. Oh yeah. But let's just make our way to the entrance. So this is what I ended up doing. First, I texturized uh, the floor with andesite, which I just think looks amazing. It makes it look weathered and like people have been walking back and forth 
on it a lot. And then, of course, I added the dark oak wood slabs like I said I was going to do. I think this just looks so much better. And, uh, well, I don't have to jump up and down all the time. And then I ended up grabbing these fences and I connected them over and put a little bit of a, uh, like a lantern on each one. As you can tell, I had the lanterns uh, initially placed on the sides, but it made it kind of feel like a little bit cramped. And, well, I didn't really like it. So I ended up putting them um, right here, which I think looks so cool. And I love how you can still see out into the world. But uh, because we're vampires, we can't go out there. So we just get to look at it from a distance. But I just think this walkway is amazing. But just bear with me. The vampire lair looks so cool. It looks so cool. So let's just see what it looks like. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. Are you ready? I, I don't know. Building hype. Da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. So we are making our way down and boom, we have the vampire lair with all of the lanterns hanging about. And then we have the walkway, like I said uh, earlier, and then look down below. Oh my God. It is literally on a giant podium platform with lava. Yes, that, that, yes, that's what it is. I, oh, I absolutely love this. Now, the amount of time it took to make this not square, to smelt stone, to actually, you know, carve this all out was, it, it was probably four to five hours, easily, easily four to five hours. Uh, the trips to go back and forth to get lava was a good hour just to put the lava down there. I mean, ugh, this thing was a beast to make. It took a long time, but I absolutely love it. I think it looks so cool. So now every single time that we are going to come down into the vampire lair, um, it is going to be one that we are going to have to watch out to make sure we don't fall down. But hopefully it looks evil. Hopefully it looks like, you know, hey, a vampire actually lives down here. Um, and there won't be torches. Like if I take away the torches, it actually makes it a little bit darker. So hold on one second. There we go. It makes it more moody and more actually what it's supposed to be like. So um, as you can tell, yep, look, there's the cutaway. So we're going to actually walk over the lava to get, yep, like I said, to the farming, to the potions, to the, you know, whatnot. I don't know. This uh, vampire lair uh, could go so it can just be amazing it can be huge uh and yeah i love it but there you go guys i really 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 hope you enjoyed um the vampire layer making the, the the making the making of the vampire layer uh it took all my creative ability but i i just love it i think this is so cool that that now we can actually have you know a home inside of this world and i definitely spent way too much time on it so let me know down below if you uh, if you guys like it because well I hope you do. But yeah, like I said, we are definitely going to move this farm down into the lair. And then, of course, uh, well, eventually, yeah, we are going to beat this. We are going to beat Minecraft living like a vampire and never seeing the light. So we are going to get a potion room. We need to enchant. And uh, well, I think next episode, we should definitely start to explore the nether and start to really uh well look, look at us we have iron armor and that's about it we we need some diamonds and we need to start enchanting stuff i think that's what we should do so next episode start to work on the nether start to get some more enchanted i uh, like items i iron stuff like that i don't know oh no just as i just as i was gonna make my next point there's a creeper creeper you are not gonna blow up anything i have worked way too hard okay you know what we're gonna okay i shouldn't go there oh no i don't know go boom there you go no creeper explosions on me nope <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's episode hit that like button comment down below what you want me to do in this world and as always my name is ben also known as big Spash, and i'll catch you guys in the next video 